aside from my soul Good afternoon everyone. I say that because it is literally like three minutes to 12 o'clock and I'm starting a new vlog off. It is currently Thursday. New South Wales had us verdictly announced that we were going to a extended lockdown for another week considering that online school is going to be happening like I'm 99% sure I thought it would be interesting to film like a week in my life and then a little bit of my holiday or end of holidays as well from you saw what you saw in the time lapse I am working on my extension to reflection statement I have papers everywhere I kid you not everywhere and I'm trying to smash this out today so I can get it out of my head it's one of the biggest stresses for me right now just because there's so much to fit into it and I really want to do well in it because it is 10 marks on top of your major work which is out of 40 so it's 50 marks altogether and you know it can be a difference between like an E4 and an E3 and I would really love to get an E4 in this because I've done really well in this subject all year and I want to you know go out with a bang with it yeah that's what i'm doing this morning and then i will probably i will have some lunch after that take a little bit of a break um do some maths that's another thing that's stressing me out and i need to make myself not stress because that's what happened yesterday and that was just not fun at all yeah and then we'll see what happens and what time it is after that but those are my two main things my main priorities for today um tomorrow i'm going for a walk with hannah and emily i don't know where we're going yet or what time i'm meeting them but We'll figure that one out and I just want to say when I say that we are following COVID guidelines and we're not going somewhere where it's crowded. We will go somewhere where it's secluded and not in contact with other people because we are still allowed to exercise in a maximum group of 10 people, which I wouldn't do. I personally don't want to go in a big group. And this way we are getting out of the house, taking a break from schoolwork, but we're also interacting socially and, you know, just getting boosting productivity levels boosting social levels boosting everything you need to boost and then saturday and sunday i'm working monday is my last day of school holidays and so i'll go for a walk with jack and get some other stuff done as well i have quite a bit to do i wrote a list yesterday and the highlighter means i've started them but i haven't completed them uh so yeah i've got a lot to do and i'm going to try and get the biggest thing done today so that i can calm a bit and then i've got then till thursday just to edit this and then also do final edits on my major work my major work isn't due till august 13th but miss wants us to have it done by thursday next week so that we can focus on our trials which is a very valid point so that is what i'm going to do because it's not going to stress me out then and i can focus on everything else that is stressing me out <laughs> so yeah i will talk to you all either later on today or tomorrow depending on if there's anything entertaining or i'm just going to ramble on for another five minutes <laughs> so it is now four o'clock and i literally once i talk to you i I didn't finish the reflection statement only because I was getting a bit sick of looking at it and I thought instead of wasting time I'd go and move on to something else so I went and finished a maths trial paper which was on my to-do list which is pretty good so that is done it's one thing off my to-do list but obviously I'll add another one because that's something I gotta constantly do now I, I took a lunch break I did maths I think till about one o'clock or something and now it's four o'clock so I did have like a three hour like gap but whatever and I was watching some of my old videos and it's crazy to see how far I've come like even some with Jack in it I was sitting there I was like holy hell so much has changed in a good way nothing bad but I just thought it was really funny to like look at the difference of what's happened, what's changed and all that. I am going to try and get more of this done. I also took a break from it because I was unsure on how much information I could take from previous assignments. The whole point of extension two is assignments leading up to your actual hand in are related to or are supposed to help you and like do like checkpoints and all that. And so they are basically what makes up your reflection statement but i was really unsure on how much i could actually take and my teacher was like no just take as much as you want so it makes me feel a little bit better that i don't feel like i'm copying and pasting my own work so i'm gonna try and get a rough draft read through it see how i feel and then send it off to my teacher um because i really want to hand one in today and feel a bit more relaxed about it and then i'll go and have a shower because i'm starting to feel a bit drowsy and when i feel drowsy it means i need to take a 
shower to feel a bit better. Yeah, I had some noodles for lunch because there was nothing else in the house and I didn't finish them because I just was not in the mood for noodles, but I just knew I needed to eat something and I didn't want bread because I had toast for breakfast. So it was just a bit of a first world problem sort of moment. Um, but yeah, I've got my Udi as my blanket and I'm going to get on to it. Good morning, everyone. It is currently 9.30 and I... Got up about 8 this morning and sat in bed for about an hour and then got up and had some breakfast. I have just started doing my English reflection statement again because I didn't finish it yesterday and I'm going to try and finish it this morning. I had to turn the light on because it's actually a very gloomy day. It's kind of raining so hopefully it subsides a bit as I really want to go for a walk today. Here is what I'm thinking of doing today. I am going to go for a walk with Jack at about one o'clock ish before that i'm going to duck into kmart and woolies because i need to get a tray because this system on my desk as i showed you yesterday it's just not working and i just need a little tray that i can just chuck everything in and just pull it out when i need it and i also just need some other things so i'm going to duck in and get some of those and then i'll meet jack we're going to meet at a parking lot just so i can leave my car and then we can take one car and i think i'm going to get some food before we head over there because he's got a drama rehearsal this morning for his HSC so he won't have had lunch yet and then I am going to head home and do some more school work I don't know what I'm going to do yet but we'll figure it out um as Jack's got work so yeah that's today's plans um I just thought I'd come on and let you know what's happening we'll see what we film today but yeah terrible gloomy start to the day though <laughs> Hey guys, so the last time I filmed and talked to you was this morning before I went out and the reason I didn't film after that was because I found out that New South Wales or not New South Wales, I should be more specific, Greater Sydney and other areas have gone into lockdown but a stricter lockdown so we're part of that. Basically the stricter lockdown means we cannot exercise out of a 10 kilometer radius of our house and which means I can't actually go and have my walks with Jack because Jack lives outside of that radius to me and there's nowhere in between that we can meet. Um, as leading on to the next thing, you're allowed to walk with maximum of two people outside of your household, not including your household. So it's a little bit unfortunate, but if that's what's gonna happen, that's what's gonna happen. And to be honest, I kind of wish it had happened previously because I don't think we would have been in this position in week three of lockdown if we had done it just week the first two weeks of lockdown but it is what it is we've got to do it now so hopefully if we all stay home do it now then we won't have an issue um i think the most frustrating thing is the area i live in we don't have any cases the only two cases we have are already in isolation and were when they found out they had covid um all the cases that are coming through are from sydney I'm not from Sydney, so it's a little bit frustrating, a little bit irritating, but is what it is. So yeah, that's the rules. Anne literally lives, literally lives five minutes up the road from us, and there is a walk within our 10 kilometer radius that we can go to. So I'll see if she wants to go out and do a little walk to break up the staying inside period. We are going on to online school on Tuesday. Monday's my last day of school holidays and our principal is coming out with what's happening with year 12. A lot of the other year 12s that I know of have had their trials moved back. We haven't. It's not the biggest year in the world, however it probably would be nice because there's also rumours that the lockdown might extend another week and we have two weeks until trials and those two weeks are meant to be studying, preparing with our teachers. Um, so either we have one week offline and then one week online and then year 12 gets to go back or they move the trials. So we'll see what happens. I don't know what's going to happen. It's kind of all up in the air and yeah. But I'll give you a rundown of my afternoon. So once I found out about that, I knew the shops would be quite packed because, I don't know, anything 
worse than what's already happening just seems to get people out in the shops but i really need to go to the shops so i ducked up before i went and went on a walk with jack and i got this little filing tray i always have a pile here as i showed you so this just makes it a little bit neater so that's what i've done and then i also got some snacks i needed to go and get tampons and so i went in and my protein balls were on special some of my uh, lollies were on special and my makeup wipes were on special so i treated myself to a few lollies just to have over the course of the week just to make myself a little bit happy and boost my moodlets and I also when I went to Kmart to get that tray they had I went into the book section I do not need any more books um and I wasn't actually planning to get one but I saw it and it's I think it's called the seven husbands of Hugo or something like something along those lines but Rachel Catherine was raving about it and she is very critical on what book she reads and I love it because I love an honest review of a book I'm not going to purchase a book if it's not up to standards and she reads quite some of the books to me so i picked that up because it was in kmart so i was like why not um so it gives me something else to read after i finish my current book and then i met jack at macca's and we got a little snack i was craving a sausage and egg mcmuffin big time um so i got that and jack got a little snack because he'd come from drama and then we went and did a walk it was raining that's why i didn't pick up the camera but it was still a really nice walk and then he dropped me back to my car and I came home. I just started binging Brooke Bush's videos. I absolutely love her videos, like love her videos. Um, her editing style is just out of this world. Like oh, the time that would take, I just very like, it's just, you appreciate it. Once you start editing videos yourself, you just appreciate other people's work. I ended up binging some of hers because they just make me laugh. So I'm in a really good mood now. So I'm going to go and have a shower and have some dinner and then sit and do some maths. Um, I don't want to waste my night because Jack's at work tonight. And we've been starting to watch Friends. I've already watched the entire se series, but Jack hasn't. And so I want him to watch it because I know he'll love it. And I've got him hooked now. So basically in quarantine, what we've been doing is... We're both too tired to watch a movie we'll do that instead or we'll play online you know or we'll just do something that we're interacting every couple of nights um but we can't do that tonight because he doesn't finish till 10 o'clock and i also have work at 8 30 tomorrow morning so i need to go to bed on time i got my reflection statement done this morning and i'm super duper happy about that that's one thing i can do with my i could tick off my to-do list and it just makes me really calm and really relaxed that i've done that i hope you enjoyed the update <laughs> good evening everyone it is currently 7 30 and i am sitting at my desk i just finished having some dinner and i'm watching criminal minds i'm doing some maths this afternoon and i'm feeling a little more confident every question that i did for the first exam i did about six or seven i got them all right so that's a really nice confident boost especially when maths and i do not have the best relationship if you're wondering what book I use, I don't know how many of you actually follow me who do New South Wales schooling, New South Wales schooling, who are in Australia doing the schooling or, you know, anyone who's doing the HSC, I should specifically say, because I know the different types of exams in each state, I believe, but for New South Wales, I don't know how many of you follow me, but if you do, if you're wondering what I'm using to study, I am using this bad boy. Yeah, it was not cheap, but it is the best thing. It has exams all the way from 2011 to 2019. And it basically gives you the exam and then the answers. It gives you the working out so that if you're struggling, you can do that. And the other thing I use is this Excel one. And this goes into more detail of each chapter. So for example, today I was really struggling with compound interest so i went back and did compound interest and simple interest and i just did um simple questions and then they just got gradually harder and i started doing that before i did them um big book so it really helps to have stuff like this it is also good to have practice exams but i bought the book so that i could have the practice examples exams all in one book and i could just bring it with me so yeah that's what i did this afternoon work was busy even though the rules say that only one person per household can go and shop i thought it might be a little bit quieter boy was i wrong it was still busy and there was a few just disgruntled customers and i understand we're in lockdown 
um, but they just be nice to your essential workers because they are just as annoyed as you are. Good afternoon everyone or good evening whatever one. It is currently almost six o'clock and I haven't talked to you today. I did time lapse but I didn't actually talk to you. Basically, as you can see from my hand, I've been busy at work. I did some maths this morning, which you saw me doing. And then I did an essay for Extension English. And I am so glad I did one. Like, I wanted to get one done, but trying to motivate myself to do one is not easy. So we have it in the flesh. And I've just got to type that up and send that to my teacher because obviously I can't physically hand it to her. And then I have my to-do list in front of me right now. A lot of these other things are simple, quick, easy things besides memorizing my palm cards. It's just a little bit of a bummer that this is what's happening in my last school term. Term three is always the best especially after trials after trials all you're doing is revising for your actual hsc exams and i just really wish hopefully i hope everything goes better so that i can actually enjoy my last few weeks of high school i've never been the biggest fan of high school but i do want to make the most of what i've got left and i really really hope that especially like the last week does not get mucked up because we have formal and graduation and it would really suck if formal had to be moved till after HSE because that's quite a long way away. Graduate in person, so it's just a little bit annoying, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully things calm down, um, but yeah, that's all. I just thought I'd update you because I was watching YouTube videos and I was like, hmm, I haven't pulled out the camera today and I kind of miss filming. Because of that, we could be having more lockdown videos, so see how we go. Thursday and it's almost three o'clock. I had a early finish to school today So I just took that extra time to relax, which was really nice. I have started editing again I had a little bit left to catch up on with my editing this, of this video. I Have decided to end it here because it's 18 minutes long basically also to Lockdown has been extended for another two weeks so I can film other videos in that time regarding like other lockdown videos so there's no point me dragging along one video for the next two lockdown weeks. So yeah, look out for more content about lockdown but basically uh, my trials still have not moved which is I'm okay with now I'd rather get them over and done with um, So they're trying to sort out different ways we can do that because the second last the last week of lockdown is in the first week of Trials, so we have to just figure that one out and my graduation formal going ahead unless something drastic happens Which is really nice to know because I don't want that to be disrupted i've been looking forward to that so it'd be nice to end my year 12 schooling when it's gonna happen if that makes sense not like two months later but yeah so i really hope you enjoyed this vlog if you did please give a big thumbs up because it really supports my channel subscribe if you're new and for those of you who have stuck around this long thank you for your patience and your ongoing support and i will see you all in my next video very very soon goodbye <laughs>